tonight. We are seeing these rounds of flurries, not amounting to a whole much, but it could coat the ground in a few places overnight. All part of the big storm that is up north, bringing heavy snows to parts of New England. Here's the model data suggesting maybe a quarter of an inch in a few places overnight tonight. So again, could be a little light coating on top of what we already had. And I mentioned several chances for snow first, of course, tonight and into tomorrow, a minor accumulation with some of these flurries or scattered snow showers. By the time we get to Sunday, there could be some storm development along the coast. And if that happens with colder air coming into the area after a brief warm up, we could be back to some snow. And there are some signs that next Tuesday night into Wednesday, that's over a week away, that there could be another storm system to deal with that could bring the threat of snow. So snow lovers, Hang in there. There might be a little bit more on the way. 33 and 30. The numbers today pretty much identical to yesterday. The temperature has not moved much over the last 24 to 30 hours or so. 33 outside right now. Breeze out of the north northwest at 15 miles an hour gusting to 22 and that makes it feel like 23 degrees outside. The actual temperature will come down a few degrees overnight, so there may be a few slick or icy spots early tomorrow morning with readings in the upper 20s to right around 30 degrees. I think pretty much everybody is going to dip just below freezing overnight tonight. And then highs tomorrow in the mid and upper 30s, a few readings in the lower 40s across south side. That might actually feel like a heat wave over the last 24 hours, so a little bit milder tomorrow, but still a bit of a breeze. It'll keep it feeling rather chilly out there. So overnight tonight, there's a few flurries or scattered snow showers. Nothing really organized over the area, and at most you'll see a little light coating. There you see this is noontime tomorrow. Still the chance for a few flurries or snow showers. Could even be mixed with a few raindrops during the day tomorrow and even into the evening. Some of that hangs around on the northern neck. It's a cloudy Tuesday, and by the time we get to Wednesday, the sun makes a return. So even though it'll be a little chilly, it will feel a bit warmer if you're outside in the sun on Wednesday. Going into Thursday, clouds will start to increase from the west. This will be our next front to deal with on Friday. Notice the showers developing out here to the west. Some of these showers will come in here on Friday. I think mostly during the morning and our computer data is starting to come into agreement that the front actually moves off the coast, gives us a dry Saturday, but there are some indications that there could be a coastal low forming on Sunday as that front doesn't go far away. If that happens, it could be anything from snow to rain once again, much like the storm that we saw yesterday. And we'll just have to wait and see how this develops. Develops. It's just starting to show up on the model data tonight. Cloudy and cold overnight tonight. Some flurries. Where they're not flurries, there could be a little freezing drizzle. So again, a few icy spots early tomorrow morning. Temperatures mainly in the upper 20s overnight. Another pretty cloudy day for tomorrow. Again, a few flurries or snow showers. Maybe a few raindrops mixed in. 36 at lunchtime and the high only 38. Notice the northwesterly wind will be quite busy once again for tomorrow. By the time we get to Wednesday, it starts real cold in the 20s, but we get up into the 40s with sunshine and that'll feel nice. Increasing clouds on Thursday, but we're up to 50 ahead of this cold front. Some showers on Friday behind the front. It does get colder and again, a potential storm. We'll be watching developments on that closely for Sunday.